Hi hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can easily create a HDRI with your phone. Very easy. I didn't really see any tutorial or a person who did that already with in that way. Um, it's very easy. The easiest I've ever seen to create an HDRI with your phone. It's very simple. Um, I don't know if it's also possible on Android because I have an iPhone and tried it on my iPhone and it works it worked like a charm. But if you have an Android, you can try it. I mean, if there's because we we're going to we're going to use an app and if that app is also available for your android you can use it very simple first thing we're going to do is you need that app hdri the link of it is in the description so you're going to click on a plus and then you choose a location where you just want your 3d uh, your hdri so then that message pops up where you can choose your desired dynamic range i'm not really into it i don't know what it is uh but there was an option to choose auto so i clicked auto and clicked okay we're gonna click on okay after that we're gonna choose a location i chose a location and we start to scan maybe some of you know that and then you uh, just give it the name you're gonna click on save after you click on finish then you can give it a name and finish and then you wait because it's processing it won't take long time but it's gonna take some time so after that if it's done you can go out of the app and then you you will get a notification if it's done you can click on it and then it is done. You can click on preview and very important is you choose 3D scene uses HDRI. Don't use Panamera because we want a HDRI. We don't want anything else. So we're gonna click on that and then it processes and then it loads, takes some time. So after that, you have your preview with some settings you can do. You can change the exposure, visualness, roughness, and even sphere, you can also use in thoroughs, but it's not necessary. So we're gonna click on send. And now very important guys, click on HDRI 32-bit EXR because that's what we need. That's what we need. That's what we want. We don't want an image JPEG. We want an HDRI. You're gonna click on that and then you can upload it anywhere where you want just to download it on your PC. So be sure to export it where you want, anywhere where you want, but be sure you can then download it from your uh, on your PC. Okay. After that, if we open it up on our PC, we get that file where it, where there is a link which we can open up and we can download our HDRI. So the next step is not very important because you already have your HDRI. So if you just want that HDRI, you have it. That's done. That's all. Um, but if we also want to create add an object to our image, I'm downloading FSPY. FSPY is a tool where you can just track your camera. Or where the position of a camera where the perspective where it is you can you can track it so we download the program very important also download the add-on to import it into blender and then you just select your axes and put them into the right position after that you're going to click on save and then you save it where you want and you open up blender and we firstly install the add-on if you don't have it i'm going to click on edit preferences and then add on and click on install and use or, or select the file and enable it very important then we're going to open up import fspy and use that file you're going to click on the camera option and on the background image is very important enable the opacity to want to see the image clear and then if we if you've done it if you did that you can add a plane you see the perspective is matching perfectly we're gonna schedule it up how we want that in that case it's matching the perspective the ground we're gonna go on cycles and make some settings so after that we can easily now very important make that plane just a shadow catcher so we only get the shadows and not the plane itself to see the plane we also we only get that shadow catcher after that we can add that hdri and you see very important under film just enable transparent and you see and you will see boom perfectly lined perfectly we see that image we have that hdri in and then we can edit uv sphere gonna change some settings to 64 and 32 to get some better resolution and snap it to face so it snaps perfectly on the plane and we can scale it up change some settings how we see the hdri looks it looks great i mean it looks great we have the shadows, we have the HDRI, we have the lighting. If we position it, you can click on material and change the materials how you want. There you have it, your HDRI. Um, also, you can scale up this or, or, or 
power the strength of the HDRIs to get some better sun look if you have a sun and that was it you see I mean it's very important it's you you will never get that look from a real camera to make an HDRI but it's a phone and that looks very great for a phone I think in my opinion it looks very very great and we made it with a phone so if you think about it we have the reflections we have the light thanks guys if the video helped you and you like it I would really appreciate it if you give a like and subscribe and I will do more tutorials <laughs> sorry for my English thanks <laughs>